Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another video. And in this one we will be checking out the quickest and easiest completions currently on Xbox Game Pass. Now as I've said many, many times before, if you haven't got Game Pass, well why the hell not bruh? Cheapest chips for some excellent games, and of course some quick old bad boy gamer score. What's not to love, right? <laughs> so, first up then we have Tracks the Train Set Game. And I know this has been on Game Pass for a while, but literally yesterday or the day before, June 26th, whenever that is, I've lost my date. But they added a whole host of DLC. Well, I say a whole host, they added the Sci-Fi Train Track Set DLC with five new easily obtainable achievements. It is a very fun little game too, only taking around an hour to complete. And do not be surprised if there's more DLC to come in the future, sort of human fall flat style where they just keep on and keep on going but hey if it keeps on giving us the quick easy uh, extra bit of gamer score boost uh, we're all up for it <laughs> so next up then we have untitled goose game now i know before you hit me with it it isn't the easiest completion uh mainly the sort of finish the level before the church bells ring which takes about seven minutes for each level so there will potentially be quite a bit of replaying certain levels too one, get lucky with the timing now and again. And two, know exactly what you're doing so you can just fly through it. But it is that. As soon as you know what you're doing, the game becomes so easy and the rest of the achievements are the same. So overall, it is a fun laid-back game. Especially once you do get the speedrun achievements out of the way. Which will take you around four to five hours to do. Next up is quite an important and serious, but very easy 1000 gamer score in Fractured Minds. It's important and serious as I said because the game was developed by a young gal, Emily Mitchell, who has mental health issues of her own and incorporates that into the game. It is brooding, moving and it does really capture you throughout the game, but as I said, it's a simple 1000. It'll take around 15 to 20 minutes to complete with a guide and around half hour or so without. Next up we have Minute and I'll admit it didn't, I didn't particularly like the look of it when I first seen it. But boy how I changed my mind when I did play it. Now you only have 60 seconds in the game before your character dies each time. That's it, 60 seconds. Which, <laughs> you know, when you think about it does make this game... Slightly frustration, looks quite daunting for the achievement list, and maybe even slightly pointless. But it is actually very fun, and it is super satisfying when it's done. And once you get the gist of the game, you'll know exactly what to do, and you'll just start flying through it. There are collectibles to get too, but overall, again, it's an easy completion within around 2-3 to three hours. Now we have the Gardens Between. This is a very cute and fun little platformer with... Honestly, nothing too hard or sincere about it. The achievements are mainly collectible, so always good to have a guide handy before heading into the game, so you don't miss anything at all. Otherwise, as I said, it's all a straightforward, easy, relaxing time. Now this next game I urge everyone to play. Walking simulators, they're not really known to be, you know, amazing games of course, but this honestly <laughs> will change minds. What remains of Edith Finch is considered one of the best in the walking simulator genre and for pretty much good reason. The story behind it is absolutely incredible and it sucks you in, not sucks you off you dirty gits, <laughs> to the point where you may end up forgetting about achievements, which I actually did potentially <laughs> once. Whoops, lol. Either way, 10 achievements, all very easy, but a few are missable, so while you're enjoying the story, remember to just keep an eye out. Next up then is Tacoma and this is another one of those games that may take you longer due to the talented and incredible story that gets you hooked and invested from the start. And again, like the majority on this list, the achievements are pretty much straightforward but there are collectibles to collect so again, keep an eye out but I urge you to take a look at the story too because you will absolutely love it. And lastly then is Wonder Song, and this was a weirdly fascinating but very entertaining game which I enjoyed thoroughly, especially when you learn of the cheeky trick you can use. So usually this game would take you around 8 hours to complete, but we can actually input some codes to get us to where we need to be in the game specifically 
four achievements. So those eight hours goes down to about one and a half to two hours. It is perfect. It's an intriguing title with the achievements and bosses not being hard at all either. So that's the list then guys and gals and that is the list of the fastest slash easiest completions on Xbox Game Pass right now. Now were there any others that you feel should be on this list or did I accidentally leave some cracking easy games out? Or is there one that you think isn't so easy on this list? Check it out, let me know in the comments section below. Thank you so so much for watching. Don't forget of course to like, comment and subscribe and again of course check me out on all my socials. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon. So what I will do now, just for a couple of minutes, for the games that I've put in this list, I'll sort of keep as, you know, 20 to 30 second trailers after I finish talking. So just in case you haven't played any of them yet, you can sort of have a feel and, you know, see if you like them. A sort of try before you buy, except a watch before you buy. But anyway, thanks <laughs> so much again. See you in the next one. Big love. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. And then I flew off to find something bigger. Thank you.